In this video, we will see how to download the PME connection tester from the GitHub repository. In order to download the PME connection tester, we need an internet access on our PC. So you can be able to use any one of the browser and there you can go to the GitHub repository. So I will provide you the link in the description. You can be able to directly access this repository to download the latest version of PME connection tester. So the PME connection tester supports us um, on various um, testing activities when we have the PMU device available in our um, substation, also in, mainly in the smart grid domain. And we could able to see uh, the PMU has been used in most of the high voltage substation in order to monitor the, the power system um, dynamic change. And it also useful for the post fault analysis. And let's see how we can able to download here. So you can able to select the code uh, section and there in the right side, you can able to see the latest release bill. So here we can able to see the, the latest version that's available um, for the PMU connection tester is 4.7.1. So you can able to select from this level and there you can able to download the, the installer. So the recent releases um, at the moment we could able to see uh, happened in around March 30, 2022. And in my case, I have um, installed one of the PMU connection tester, which is a older version than the one that we have uh, seen in the repository. So you can able to see in case if you have older version, you can also see the version in the right side, uh, 4.6.3. And to confirm, you can also go to the help section and select um, the about option. And there you can able to also go to the application version uh, information. So this has been um, built around uh, 2021, 2021 uh, fourth month. So which is an older one and we have some enhancement added into the newer version and then we can able to see the PME connection tester support us to um, access many different protocol support that we build in the different PMUs, uh, the synchrophraser compatible IDs. So there are many other protocols also available here for different profiles and we can able to connect and then verify the configuration or properly done and the responses um, getting out of the, the PMUs using the PMU connection tester. And it also supports both um, TCP and UDP connections. So we can able to establish both options to the device. And in case if you would like to access more device um, at the same time, and you can also use the Micromason Agile is also an alternate option. So the latest version you can able to download uh, from the GE support line section and you can also refer to the to the description to access the, the link how can you download the latest version of my commission jail. So in the home screen at the start page you can able to select the this smart grid option there you can able to go to the phaser terminal and there you can able to open the, the application. So here you can able to access more than one PMU at the same time. In case you would like to check more than one PMU at the same time. And if you want to do the deep testing for the different um, profiles, it's better to use the, the PMU connection tester for a single device and you can able to handle the different set of uh, request and response. Um, basically the, the messages, part of the synchrophaser um, protocol, like the header frame, um, kind of a nameplate data that we can able to request from the PMU connection tester. And then you can also request the data frame and that contains actual values that is configured in the PMU. And then you can also able to uh, control the the different set of commands for the configuration frames like configuration frame one frame two frame three so these are the different frames 
that help us to know the, the specification of the specific PMU that we connect and the configuration that we build for a specific PMU and the extra information that also support us to know the, the actual location that contains the, the latitude and longitude of the PMU or device for the configuration frame 3. And this, this different type of um, request and response, and including the command frame that can be handled in the, the, in the PME connection tester very well. And the same thing you can also be able to do from the another application from the MicroMeson Agile. So let's go to the browser and download the PMU connection tester installer here. It's around 9.7 MB. It's almost downloaded. The internet speed is good here at the moment in my PC. So the download is done. And let's go to the download section and then we can able to extract to the folder. So there we can able to see the two different um, build option. So my PC I have 64 bit operating system. So I need to install the 64 compatible installer. So it's very easy to install and I can able to go for the next. And I have already installed another version so I can able to just upgrade. The existing version to the newer one and the PMU connection tester is um, okay I have already opened one so I need to exit so I need to continue now so that there is no more installer running on the PC so that it upgrade the repository details with the newer um, binary files so the resource file that help us to open up and then use it for the different application testing. So meantime, you can able to explore um, the different set of um, application from the home screen. You can select the wiki option in the GitHub repository and there you can able to also explore the different application so here you can able to see the, the type of um, application and the protocol support where exactly you can able to use the PMU connection tester and the different application that you can able to achieve with this PMU application um, testing. And further going down the protocol support and the, and the different type of um, options that we can able to get that we can able to understand at this level. So once you are able to successfully install, then you can able to use the PME connection tester and you can able to run the Wireshark in the beginning on the same PC where you are running the PME connection tester to get um, packet captures um, that help us to know the, the values and you can able to record those information and use it for a different um, application testing for the different request and response that we do send in get from the PMU connection tester to the actual PMU. So the installation is successfully done. So we can able to click close option in the installer. And in case when you are using the PMU connection tester, observe some problem, which is not expected, then you can able to always come to the GitHub repository, then select the issues option. And then there you can able to create a new issues. So there is a green color button here. You can able to select and then create a new problem, uh, the reproduction steps and the expected behavior and the 
the responsible team members can able to take and close the analyze and then further they can able to fix the problem if, if it is um, not an expected behavior for the different standard that, that they support so you can also able to see here there are some issues reported and then they have able to analyze and then provide the support and they also able to close those uh, different issues um, or the bugs that has been observed and so we can able to launch the PMU connection tester from the start menu and we can able to see the recent version that we have released 471 and you can also see here in the right and then they can able to go to the help section and then also observe the, the recent build date so it's always recommended to use the latest version to get the maximum um, benefit and the improvements that has been added to the PMU connection tester when we are testing the PMU applications. So you can go to the code section and in order to know the the release notes, you can able to select the release option. There you can able to see the, the different um, enhancement that has been added to the different version. So what are the changes? And there are some updates related to the configuration frame three and then there are so many other improvements uh, also related to the configuration frame 3 in the and the, um, the recent releases and some enhancement released related to the request and response um, improvements so this is how we can able to make use of the pmu connection tester by installing it and we can able to use it for verification and to know the, the actual testing with the real um, IDs um, like the PMU compatible devices, there will be another video you can able to refer to the same playlist. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.